Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwash and I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kem. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ, the question is in front of you. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. So first question, which of the mentioned below compound is most reactive for hydrolysis reaction? So I have asked hydrolysis means breakage by water. So if I say this question, you need to understand what is actually asked. So if you look at the four option, these four parts, this part is common in four option. So I am not obviously asking you the breakage of this part, no. What part is different? Different is this bond, this bond, this bond and this bond. So which could be broken most efficiently by water. And in order to understand this, we need to understand the stability of these bonds, four bonds and the product after hydrolysis. If you look at the word hydrolysis, hydrolysis means hydro, means water and lysis means breakage. So breakage by water is called hydrolysis. Okay. So now if we need to understand the stability of this bond here if you look at in this case it is a purely carbon carbon bond so it's a stronger bond less reactive agree so it is actually not that much interested for hydrolysis negative if you look at this part amide it has a resonance or canonical form like this will come here it will open so the canonical form looks ch3 o minus in H2 plus. By the way, in this canonical form, you can see this is actually a double bond. So from this, we can consider the CN bond has partial double bond character. These terms are very important student try to remember. Partial double bond character. And we know the more the bond difficult to break. So it is difficult to break a single bond good than a it is more difficult to break a double bond than a single bond. So I can say this bond is little difficult. Okay. Now next, if you look at here, this molecule actually has two canonical forms. So first this lone pair could be donated this way. So you can write that canonical form CH3 O minus double bond oxygen C double bond O CH3 and its lone pair plus. Now, if you compare donation tendency from nitrogen in amide versus in ester. So, obviously, oxygen has a less tendency to donate. Why? Because oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen. Point number one. Second point, if you look at, this molecule has two, react, two carbonyl adjacent. So, these lone pair have some chances to delocalize in this side. Along with similarly, it has a chance to donate on this side too. So availability of these lone pair for donation to this left side is lesser compared to the amide. So you can say in this case, this bond is little weaker or you can say partial double bond character. In this case, CO partial double bond character is less in amide, right? Now next option, option D if you take. By the way, one interesting information I'm sharing which is not mentioned. If you compare this anhydride right, with simple ester, OR. This ester is actually less reactive because here one lone pair is donated only with this carbonyl. So this carbonyl carbon is less electron deficient. So this is out of this topic, but remember this information. Now look at the option D. This we know chlorine, halogen, they have three lone pairs. So logically they can donate, agree. But one thing remember, these halogens plus R effect is less prominent over minus I effect. Means minus I effect is stronger. If you look at oxygen, oxygen case plus R effect is stronger than minus I effect. In case of nitrogen, plus R effect is far more stronger than minus I effect. Actually, minus I effect is less here, little bit, because electronegative hydrogen is little bit lesser compared to oxygen. So now minus I is more than plus R. So you can say, sir, it will pull more. So if it pulls more electron density towards itself, what will be the consequence? Consequence, these carbonyl carbon will be very highly electrophilic. And in reality, that's happened. This is acid chloride or acetyl chloride. It is very reactive for moisture and undergo hydrolysis spontaneously. So very reactive. 
if you look at uh, these anhydrides they are reactive but not like acid chlorides and in this case this amide very actually not that much reactive in order to hydrolyze them you need to add some acid or alkali and you need to heat them means boil them such that this reaction can happen and eventually this bond doesn't break under normal condition so you may consider this is the most inert and this d option is the most reactive so option d is the right answer by the way this question could be asked in a different way also which of the mentioned below compound is strongest electrophile for hydrolysis reaction do not get confused with other options strongest electrophile for hydrolysis means water will act as nucleophile in this case in which case strongest will do the hydrolysis now if it is asked what is the order so obviously as i told d is the maximum option a next is c next line then option is b then option is a so this is the order for the ease of hydrolysis okay so try to remember it could be a question also so this is the end of this question i believe this video will be useful thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye